Hi and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you my art supplies haul in Singapore. So I had a vacation to Singapore a few weeks ago and I took my time to visit four art stores in Singapore. And let me take you to see them. First, we're going to the sixth floor of Sim Lim Square where the Crafters Paradise is. This is their smaller one. They have the bigger one in City Square Mall, but this one is closer to where I was staying. So here we go. Alongside with their local brand, they also have some other brand that we have heard of like Sennelier, Kusakabe, My Mary Blue, and some others. They also have their own paper brand, Dream Paper. I'd love to try but I already got too much paper. Anyway, I love this small store. Also, the sister is very helpful. She's very active on their TikTok which helped me so much to find exactly where the store is. Next is Overjoy in Chatai. Just get into the building, go straight down to the lower level and you'll easily find this store. This one is a huge art supply shop you can see here. They have a lot of art supplies along with journaling stuff and a lot of other art stuff. Their website is very helpful. I did some research before I go and listed things that I would get. So you know, you won't go too much over budget. And again, the shop is so big, so huge. I just walk around and found some stuff that I haven't heard of like on this Faber Castell. We're very familiar with the brand but here I saw some Faber Castell stuff that I didn't know they exist and they have the entire section of art journal, sketchbook, watercolor book. They have a lot of Clairefontaine and Strathmore and Rodia and any other brands. However, people who work here seems busy organizing some stuff and me being a people pleaser feel kind of bad for asking where I can find this and that. Yeah, the store still got some empty shelves although it's already huge and you can basically find anything here now to the art friend i wasn't planning on visiting this store but i ended up dead because it's really close by the overjoy it's located in plaza singapura on b1 level so you can go straight down and get a little look around and find a store and i think this store is even bigger and i got a little bit overwhelmed because their website is not listing all of their products so i kind of feel lost and didn't know what to get but they have tons of art and craft supplies the last and actually the first art shop i went was the oldest art supply store in singapore it's a family-owned shop and they have been here since 1947. The Straight Arts. This is absolutely my favorite art shop. I love the traditional shop fights where the owner serves you and help you out with everything. It's a small store but it's so cute and so cozy. As you can see, they have a lot of Royal Talents products, some art brushes and also some student grade art supplies. They also have a lot of other brands. You just need to ask what you need and they will help you, surely. Oh, and they also have some materials for making your own paints. I've listed some stuff I want to get, but I ended up getting more things here. Also, I brought one of my friends virtually via video call to this shop and we end up buying a lot of stuff. You can go check out their website and Instagram page for more sneak peek of this shop. Okay, this is all I got from 4 art supply store in Singapore. Yeah, it's a lot, but in my defense, I cannot find some of them here in Indonesia or they are cheaper in Singapore. Okay, from Crafters Paradise, I got this Renaissance watercolor. I think we don't have it here in Indonesia. It's made in Poland and I got suspicion that this watercolor contains honey because of this. Apparently, it's written on the label that it is honey-based. Then I got these two cheap KCK watercolor brushes. And I'm planning to using them for more brutally made artwork. So I won't throw in any pricey brushes. You know what I mean. Okay, and then from the Overjoyed, I got this drawing gum or masking fluid and also this acrylic retarder, both from PBO. And again, I don't think I could find them here in Indonesia. So yeah, next I got this Strathmore watercolor travel pad. This one is 100% cotton, so it has different texture with the Strathmore watercolor trading cards, which I've reviewed before. And here's the paper's texture if you're wondering. And then I got this Mungyo watercolor color chip. Yeah, it's kind of confusing. But this one is really unique. So it watercolor but in sheets. I'm excited to try it out and surely we'll make a video of it. Okay, the last one is water brush. I'm in a love-hate relationship with water brush. For me, it feels like it's compact but not so comfortable to use. Then I found this Karan Dutch water brush and I think it's kind of better than any water brush I've ever tried before. Next from Art Friend, I only got three things since I didn't have a shopping list and I don't want to drain my bank account. So I got this plastic palette, just a regular one, this 15 centimeter ruler. I already got the same type of ruler before but it got two measurements and it almost two millimeters off and it bothers me so much. So when I found this and the numbers are nice and I got it. Lastly from Art Friends, I got this magnetic canvas. Passport. I was hesitant to get it but my husband encouraged me to get it 
for some art on the fridge door and to the streets art supplies hole i don't know why i went far to singapore to get a pipad but i need it so yeah and i got this fountain pan as you can see it cost me eight singapore dollar and 10 cents i've tried it and it's very cool it's very nice and i'm really loving it then i got this rembrandt watercolor in permanent red deep and an old holland watercolor in blue deep i did a little swatch and here's the rembrandt red permanent deep and here's the old holland blue deep I also got this Minka Super Granulation watercolor. I didn't find this set of three anywhere here and it's um kind of pricey but it's still cheaper in Singapore. And here's the swatches of these Galaxy sets. Next I got this Airtight watercolor palette. It got 12 half pen size of wells and the size is perfect for me since I love travel size palette and it fits perfectly with my current plan air watercolor sketchbook. Okay next I got this I call them the children of acrylic and oil paints. They are water mixable oil colors, both from Royal Talents, Cobra, and Van Gogh. I got only these three colors because they don't have much left on student grade water mixable oil colors. And I'm too broke to get the artist grade. Okay, then I got this Fabriano watercolor pad because I really want to try a Fabriano and ended up trying the wrong type of paper before. This one is the cheapest hot press Fabriano pad they have and you can see the paper information here. Also, here's the texture of the paper if you're wondering. And this one is a bonus. They gave me this Daniel Smith dot cards, the botanical palette and the Paul Wong palette. I never tried Daniel Smith before and I'll surely make a video of this. They also gave me some keychains and they got the shop logo on the back of the palette. Look at this cute palette and brush it's just so cute and they also got one from my friends who i brought along with me virtually they're just so nice and i cannot wait to go back to singapore okay that's it for now there will be more swatches and review on my art vlog soon since my friend also asked me to review hers so yeah i put down some information on the description box below and if you have any question or anything just let me know in the comments and thanks for watching Bye!